So the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After making the crossing to the other side of the sea, Jesus and his disciples came to land in Jerusalem and tied up there. As they were leaving the boat, people immediately recognized him. They secured, secured him about the surrounding country and began to bring in the sick on mats to whenever they heard he was. Whatever villages or towns or countryside he entered, they lay the sick in the marketplaces and beg him that they might touch only the tassel of his cloth. And as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Have you noticed that sometimes we let our faults and also our little imperfections to be the definition of who we are? In Genesis, we hear today that everything that God created was good, and it is good. So we are good. Sometimes the devil comes and he lies to us and make us feel like these little imperfections that we sometimes experience in our lives are the definition of who we are, and that's a lie. We are good. Goodness is our essence and substance, and what is given to us in creation is a gift of heaven, that goodness. So let us fight to realize that, to increase that devotion, that in Christ, in God, we are good. We are not uh, to hear what the devil wants to uh, make us hear and to make us feel and believe. Because the reality is that God created us good. And this is analogous for the lost yesterday, right? Because not a game is going to define who our team is, right? Because they have played good all the season. And not because of the loss, we are going to say, well, they are a bad team or something like that. Because they have played good. So one thing, one little imperfection doesn't define who they are. We have a great team, and we are glad for them, right? So let us give thanks to the Lord for the goodness he has put in us as a gift, because we are good in his image and in his likeness. And also praise God for our team that are coming back to Kansas City. Amen. <laughs>